Hi, I'm Rob. I take the same walk pretty much every day. Walking the same route over and over might sound boring. It's not. I think if I dedicated my life to learning about this place, I'd never really feel like I knew very much about it. I see new things all the time. Take this puddle for example. I was walking past it earlier today, and there is what I saw. Salamander larvae. More specifically, marbled salamander larvae. And then there's what look like raccoon tracks right on the bank, and you can hear the chorus frogs calling in the background. I didn't know anything about footprints or salamanders before I started taking my walks out here. Now I can see there is so much going on in and around this little puddle. I need to change what I said earlier. If I dedicated my entire life to learning about just what goes on in this puddle, I don't think I'd ever really feel like I knew very much about it. I'm still curious. I wonder what goes on here at night. And we're back. I'm here with my frog watch group. We just finished monitoring and we're headed to the puddle. Stop, do you hear that? Listen for the long trill. There it is. Definitely coming from the direction of our puddle. Wait, here's one over here. Our puddle's full of American toads, a magnificent animal I really, really love. Hopefully if we wait a few seconds, they'll start calling again. As I was filming this, I noticed this guy. His vocal sac fills, but he doesn't make any sound. Maybe he was just warming up, maybe he was injured, or maybe he was born this way. Regardless, it got me thinking about him as an individual. What does his day-to-day -day life look like? The possibilities are endless. I need to change what I said earlier. I could dedicate my entire life to learning about this toad in this puddle, and never feel like I knew very much about him. Hi there. <laughs>